So today is uh, December 11th, but I'm probably gonna have to upload this after that because I'm talking about a thing that I can't talk about until the episode's out. I moved to California <laughs> and since moving to California, I have had opportunities that I would not have been able to have in Chicago and um, I changed my management. I, I feel like I'm like being respected as a YouTuber here, which is really cool. Um, and my previous management <laughs> to like didn't even know me. They had like a lot of, they signed just a lot of people just in general. Today, um, I got to be on Smash Up, which is um, a show on Astronauts Wanted. I remember a couple months ago, I don't know how many months ago, I saw um, a couple episodes of some stuff on Astronauts Wanted and I was like, ooh, that looks fun. Um, and so I like sent them my information. I'm not sure, you can go to their website and like send, <laughs> send your information. Um, but yeah, I, I did that, but um, nothing really came of that. And then Colette, my manager at Big Frame, got me this really awesome opportunity called Smash Up. And I just wanted to like really talk about what just went down for me because I'm like feeling a lot of emotions. So I got there and I wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, I... I knew that there was a script and some lines and I was gonna smash a TV. I tweeted asking y'all what your frustrations are or like what your pet peeves are and um, I got a ton of responses which made me so happy like I wasn't sure how many I was gonna get and I knew that like the other people doing this uh, had pretty sizable audiences. So I, I was so, so happy with like the amount of people that responded. And then the next day I asked like the question, what would you want me to smash? Because the point is, is that I rant about a thing and then I smash a thing. There was like a makeup person and there was a lot of lights and like everybody like knew that I was supposed to be there. And this was the first thing I had really done where there was a script and like a ton of people in a room where I had to like act like I wasn't acting obviously but like I don't know I don't know how to word this I, when I was interviewed for vlogumentary it was probably the first time that I was like it was just me talking with a room full of people in it but this was like this felt like such a YouTube thing and it was something that I was excited to do. A lot of these kind of shows and things, they're like fake to me. They seem really like cheesy and just kind of fake. And Astronauts Wanted, I feel like, had like hit the nail on the head with their shows. I really like most of them, all of the, I don't think I've seen all of them, but I just really like them. Um, so when this came to me, I was like, yes. Cause I feel like it's my thing and I can like make it my own. And even though they gave me a script, they were like, use your own words. You don't have to say exactly this, just like whatever you are comfortable saying. And that's like my favorite part. That's my favorite thing is because like, there's so many, there's so many places that are like stick to the script and like, I don't use scripts. So I'm very uncomfortable doing that. So I feel like some of the lines I was uncomfortable saying because I'm just not really good with, I'm not really good reading scripts as if it were me, if that makes sense. Like if I'm acting and I'm playing a part, I can like read from a script or like memorize a script and that's different. But um, playing myself and reading a script feels very unnatural to me, which is not unnatural to a lot of YouTubers. Like a lot of YouTubers script their videos. I just have never done that. So um, I think I was like real nervous about that part more than anything. And then I read all the tweets. I, and I, I like ranted about things and like went on little tangents and stuff. And I, I hope it's funny. Like obviously I don't know what the episode looks like. And I mean, you guys could probably watch it right now. And it was like super hot. And I was in a room with a lot of people and I was like melting. And the makeup girl Molly uh, kept having to come in and like powder me because I was <laughs> I felt like I was dripping in sweat. It was real gross. Yeah, everybody was just so nice to me and like, oh, so 
fun. I just had so much fun. And then I got to smash TVs. What? I literally got to take a sledgehammer to a TV. And it was so fun. Like, I did not know how fun that was going to be. And then it happened. And I didn't even think that I was going to be able to do it. First of all, sledgehammers are real heavy. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, like, get the full-on smash that they want. But I did it. And then I got to smash it again. And again. And then they brought in another TV for me to smash. And I got to smash a second TV. And I got to push that TV off of the thing that it was on. Onto the ground. And it just... <laughs> glass and I was wearing goggles and gloves and I felt really cool and then it was just a huge adrenaline rush and my heart was beating so fast and I was like this was like the most fun thing I've ever done <laughs> it was just so fun and I feel so lucky I just feel so lucky it's incredible I don't know and then on the drive home it's like the beautiful view of California and the mountains and I was like I'm so lucky <laughs> sorry I'm just like reeling still I just wanted to thank you guys um I don't know I just <laughs> it was just really cool um because I got to interact with you guys and I got to read your tweets and I got to smash a tv which was somebody's suggestion and I feel like I'm just so lucky. I just had a lot of fun and I wanted to thank you for supporting me and stuff. I know it's like cheesy, but I just had a moment while driving home of just like, y'all are incredible. And I have such good interaction, which means that I just have such a good like following. I, I mean, even if you're not like an avid follower, I feel like y'all are just real nice and like you help me out when I ask for things and and you just want to interact, which is like the coolest thing ever. And I'm just really excited about it. And I'm sorry this is like rambling. I'm gonna end it now. So I love you guys and <laughs> thank you for letting this be a thing that I can do. Um, <sighs> okay, I'm exhausted. I'm probably gonna go call my mom <laughs> because I'm so really excited and she'll probably be super excited for me too. <laughs> I'm just really excited. Cool things are happening, y'all. And I'm stoked about it. Bye.